Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today on the website of Bonhams Auctioneers, based in the UK, we're going to have a look at one of their latest auctions, which is the Maxi Jazz Collection. So for those of you that don't know, Maxi Jazz was the best known as being the front man of electronic band Faithless, had some pretty big tracks, who was also a rapper, singer, songwriter, etc, etc, so quite a kind of an influential person. He sadly died a couple of years ago in 2022. So on the 13th of June, which is in two days time, they are selling some items from his collection, musical instruments and related kind of stuff. So I just thought we'd have a quick look. Seems like the buyer's premium for this these auctions are 28%. So that's what you have to pay on the final hammer price. This is a UK based auction. So bear that in mind if you're looking to bid. Uh, check all the terms and conditions, import, export, all of that fun stuff. Um, if you do enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing because it really does help and it would be much appreciated. You can also comment, turn on notifications, all of that fun stuff. So yeah, without further ado, let's just have a quick look at this auction. Like nothing too crazy, we're not going to go too in depth, but just be interesting to see uh, what um, he had and what he was using. So we've got a Gibson J45 acoustic there from 1992. So you can see there's some footnotes there. He can be seen playing this guitar in South London in 2018 there. So I think nothing too crazy uh, in that regard. About 800 to 1200 on that one. But fairly desirable Gibson anyway. 1100 current bid. Uh, a Brooklyn model acoustic guitar there. 1000 to 1500, 900 on that so far. Nice Koa top on that. Another one he's played at home in November uh, 2020. Handcrafted by Brooke Guitars in Devon. Then we've got a... Interesting, what's this? A J3 semi-hollow body or a Case J3 semi-hollow body guitar. 1500 to 2000 there. Oh, Case guitars, okay. And the J3 model there. Starting bids at 1200. Interesting kind of... Uh, model that so they don't seem to have many pictures uh, up which is slightly curious um, but there we go interesting looking guitar anyway I wonder if the conditions of sale will probably give you the information about the buyer's premium oh, here's a buyer's premium 28% yep, there you go for up to 40,000 and I think don't think there's anything that will be over 40 so look 28% it is Another case guitar, semi-acoustic prototype there, 1500 to 2000 on that. Kind of um, rings a bell this brand, but I can't really quite recall it. Gibson ES335, a uh, Joe Bonamassa model, interesting. Two and a half to three the estimate, two two the current bid. Guitar featured in the article, Artist Collection, Maxi Jazz on guitar.com. Okay. You're definitely a talented musician, for sure. Uh, Gibson ES150D, semi-acoustic from 1970-71. This is a nice guitar. Uh, two and a half to three and a half on that. Not much other information. Shame there aren't more pictures, because some quite nice guitars in this collection. Some other stuff about the records. Gretsch Brian uh, sets a hot rod semi acoustic guitar 1999 to 2004, 1500 to 2000 on that. He played it at a festival in Bern, Switzerland. Some other bits as well. They've actually got a second picture for this, so that's interesting. Uh, Gretsch Country Club semi acoustic from 1954. Okay, wow, four and a half to five. Current bid four there, so. Called this guitar Garbo, okay, South London video, four weeks before he died, okay, that's seen you've got links and things, and that's almost a little bit grim, but I know that these are quite desirable uh, instruments. We've done something funny there, another Gretsch Electromatic, electric there, 700 to 900. Another one about his artist collection, current bid's 1100, so it's already popular. So he seems to have liked Gretsch. Got a Fender Deluxe Reverb 2 amp there. Not a lot of information. 800 to 1200 on that. No bids. Blackstar Artist 15 combo. I think probably everyone 
and their gran has one of these or had one of these at some point or a black star amp of some kind current bid 100 uh, Mesa Boogie cabinet with Mesa Boogie Transatlantic TA15 head that's kind of more boutique Mesa Boogie amps that's interesting four to five hundred and that current bid 160 I mean that would be quite a bargain if you could get it for 160 another black star HT studio 20R mark 2 current bid 50 well, not a lot of love for the amps so this is a bit of a weird obscure kind of uh, auction to be on Bonhams to be honest uh, you would have thought it might do better somewhere else but there we go Fender Jaguar electric guitar here 500 to 700 850 current bid I guess the guitars are going pretty well but not the amps Quite fairly nice guitar from 2020 Fender Stratocaster electric guitar oh right okay from 1957 interesting 25 to 30 on that so we're still going to be within that 28% buyers premium current bid 22 let's have a look at this two-tone sunburst finish da -da -da. let's see what else some provenance Willard Will Snyder owned this guitar 1957 to 1970 his bands include the Melody Boys and the Rockers okay Maxi Jazz named this guitar Shirley okay interesting you can see him playing it right they've actually got a few pictures on this one so that's quite a nice there's the man himself so there we go, quite a nice Fender Strat there. Fairly earlyish one, so that's pretty curious. Fender 57 Custom Deluxe Amp for 1957, so the amp to match, 5 to 600. That was the estimate, that's ridiculous. 1600 bid, yeah, I think that'll do pretty well. A Galoop S style electric guitar, okay. American serial number not present, 600 to 800, the estimate there. Not sure what that is. This guitar is pickups one by one of the Fender Custom Shop's best known employees, Abigail Yabara. Okay, interesting. Fender Strat there, 2004, 2006, 5 to 700 on that. Tokai electric guitar on the Japanese brand uh, 1983 6 to 800 the estimate on that more stuff there that we can go past same here and this one this is all interesting stuff if you like Faithless and you're a fan of Maxi Jazz but not so much for us Fender Telecaster from 2011 8 to 1200 on that 1100 there lots of videos and things of him playing fender telecaster thin line there 700 to 900 uh fender telecaster by uh electric guitar 2015 5 to 700 on that it's actually a picture of him playing that. that's pretty cool good picture Gibson SG Standard 621 reissue from 2001. Ooh, it's been amended. 1500 to 2000 on that. Uh, fretboard is made from Indian rosewood, not Brazilian rosewood, as stated in the cataloging. Yeah, looks a bit pale for uh, Brazilian, and a bit too late in the day, year-wise, I think. Gibson Les Paul custom electric guitar, 2008, 1500 to 2000. Let's have a look there's a few more pictures pretty kind of poor in terms of uh, i mean the actual pictures are fine but not very many of them which is a little bit weird uh gibson flying v electric guitar there from 2700 to 900 lots of other information there but we will skip that for now gibson firebird electric guitar there 1000 to 1500 on that 900 Se reissue serial number not present okay interesting right some clothing we can skip past that interesting lots of stuff well, it's got bids on it so said so faithless were definitely a popular band at the time <clears throat> right ah, okay 
Gibson Les Paul Gold Top Electric Guitar from 1953, 20 to 25,000. Nice starting bids, 18. All right, no bids, okay. Gold Top Finish there. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Sites. He named this guitar Juice. Okay, interesting. We saw kind of one, I think, from a similar period, but a bit older, 1952, from one of the Gardner Hallgate auctions, but it had, like, the original style tailpiece that people didn't like. So that's interesting to see. Had a curious collection there. Gibson Explorer from 1981. Okay, 1500 to 2000 on that. So some more footage there. 1900 current bid. No, quite popular, quite early-ish one. Rickenbacker Stereo 360 from 1976, 1500 to 2000 there. Gibson Dust Tiger Electric. This was this really bonkers Gibson that they made with all the robo tuners and stuff. That's weird. It looks like it's missing a tuner. Is it missing a tuner or have they just done some weird edit job on that? I don't know, 1500 to 2000. So, robo... Yeah, I don't know. They must have done some weird... Uh, Kind of editing on that. Ooh, going a bit too far there. Gibson non reverse firebird electric guitar. Yeah, this one I'm not a fan, never been a fan of this model. Reissue there, 800 to 1200. Uh, Gibson EDS 1275 twin neck electric guitar from 1978. Three and a half to 4000 on that. Okay, interesting. He yeah, had a pretty good collection. Gibson Les Paul Standard 60. Reissue electric guitar from 2002, 1200 on that one, so it's kind of curious. Gibson Blues Hawk Limited Edition Semi Acoustic Guitar, Southern Comfort House of Blues, 1998, 800 to 1200, starting bits of 700. It's another one of these kind of slightly weird models, I think. I know that some people do like, like them, but not me. Personally, right offender bass guitar, nineteen jazz bass guitar, nineteen ninety four to nineteen oh five, five to seven hundred on that. It's a Japanese one. Fender Precision Bass from two thousand and seven. Got eight hundred to twelve hundred on that. Right, uh, a BJ Goodfellow handmade electric bass guitar. Okay, four to five hundred on that. Current bid five fifty. Serial number not present. Fretless fingerboard. Yeah, it's pretty bright pink there. Statement piece. Crafter acoustic bass guitar there. Three to four hundred. Nothing too crazy. Allen and Heath mixing desk. These are pretty expensive. Two to two to three on that. And another module thing there. That's a good quality mixing desk. I need a compact display and professional mixer there. A bit out of our range, some turntables, but he was known as a DJ, so it makes sense. Personal pedal board setup, okay. 800 to 1200, starting with 710 pedals. Yeah, interesting. Let's have a quick look at this uh, thing. Got like wire expression, some boss stuff. Interesting, probably not really worth the. Uh, Estimate there in all reality, unless you really are a fan. Slash signature cry baby pedal. Yeah, you could just bid on on this a single thing. That'd probably be better. Yeah, Pog Two Polyphonic Octave Generator Guitar Pedal. Current bid eighty. These are great. I've got the original one, which is much bigger and much more clunky, but these are pretty, pretty cool. These are really good. Uh, Micro Qtron Envelope Guitar Pedal there. Other electro harmonics. He's got a good, uh, good choice. Mini Moog Voyager OS, old school kind of synth thing. It's quite nice. Three and a half to four, three two starting. Yeah, some of the stuff is pretty expensive. Little Marshall bass amp there. More other stuff there. Another little Marshall amp. Let's see what else there. Group of mini pedals. Okay, interesting. 20 bid on that. Well, that might not be too bad uh, a lot. MXR M169 Carbon Copy Analog Delay. £30 bid on that so far. Swollen Pickle Jumbo Fuzz Guitar Pedal. Current bid 60. 
cool microsynth vocoder. Okay. Uh, this professional MIDI sampler there. Cool Trinity Plus keyboard workstation. A Nord lead keyboard music workstation. Yeah, good, good stuff. Some other bits and pieces. I'm not sure how many more musical instruments we have left maybe none or maybe there's a few not sure let's see what else we've got here we must be coming towards the end now some passes truck suit things and i think that is it yeah so there we have it the the maxi jazz collection so former front man of uh electronic band faithless that passed away a few years ago and a man of many other musical talents uh, and the setting off some bits from his collection so if you're interested in faithless or maxi jazz himself uh, check out the collection finishing on the 13th of june in a couple of days i'll put a link in the video description thanks a lot for watching and i'll catch you next time bye <laughs>